Bookshelf speakers serve two functions. They are supposed to sound good, but they should also look the part. With that in mind, we've scrounged the market for the best bookshelf speaker models in 2020, and we have come up with the following list comprised of budget models, wireless speakers, top value speaker configurations, and obviously, the finest model you could sport for the buck. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get started. Bookshelf speakers are an amazing upgrade to your home, but they tend to cost quite a bit. With that in mind, we've decided to open up our review of the finest bookshelf speakers in 2020 with a budget model, Edifier's R1280T. In short, Edifier is one of the biggest brands in the speaker industry, and what's more, even their cheapest models excel in performance to such a level that they can easily go toe-to-toe -to -toe with most mid-priced and even some boutique models. In terms of connectivity, it sports two auxiliary inputs, which is pretty typical for a budget set of speakers, but what's important is that R1280T is actually reliable. However, it does not support Bluetooth-powered devices, which is a bit of a downfall. Edifier's R12 ADT also boasts a beautiful, highly durable construction. These speakers were made of top shelf MDF material, so it would be a huge understatement to say that they were built to last. You'll find a variety of controls on board the main speaker, which you can use to adjust the overall volume, treble, and bass. What's so great about these built-in controls is that they're actually positioned in a groove. Putting them outside of harm's way will preserve the knobs should you accidentally bump into your speakers. As far as the sonic performance of these speakers go, they're supplied with a 4-inch bass driver as well as with a flared bass reflex port. This basically means that they offer powerful but pretty controllable sound. The dimensions of R12 ADT measure 6.90 by 9.50 by 5.80. This means that they're not terribly big and bulky, but neither are they petite. These speakers weigh just a bit above 10 pounds and are pretty portable because of it. All things considered, these speakers are phenomenal, even if we're to completely neglect the fact that they belong to the budget price point category. They offer reliable connection, top quality sound performance, and they look absolutely marvelous. They surely pack quite a punch for the buck, and then some. Our second recommendation is Pioneer's SPBS22 LR Andrew Jones Home Audio Bookshelf 2.1 Bookshelf Speaker System. Some of the most notable benefits you could potentially reap by having this system in your home include a beautiful new aesthetic piece, booming bass for your parties, and sound quality that will put your old budget speakers to shame. Each of the two speakers has 40 watts of power, 80 watts in total, a frequency response range of 55 hertz to 20 kilohertz, 6 ohms of nominal impedance, and 85 decibels of sensitivity. In this regard, it is obvious that the SPBS22LR can recognize even the lowest fragments of bass, as well as some of the brightest highs. This tells us that its soundstage is rich and geared towards reproducing all kinds of music, from the grooviest jazz and blues to the heaviest of heavy metal. Furthermore, these speakers are powered by a 25mm soft dome woofer driver. Its raw strength is beyond sufficient, but where it really excels is in reproducing top quality lows and treble. Granted, the speaker driver is pretty small, but even though it's somewhat specialized, it's still well-rounded. What really pumps up the value of these speakers is that their sound punches through the 4-inch woofer, which results in a drastic boost to bass accuracy. The dimensions of SPBS 22 LR measure 7.1 inches in width by 8.4 inches in depth by 12.6 inches in height. Each speaker weighs roughly 4.5 pounds, 9 pounds in total, so they're quite transportable and light. However, the main reason why we've labeled SPBS 22 LR as our top value pick is that it features custom waveguide technology and a six element crossover feature. In a nutshell, this combo of feature allows the speaker set to put up with louder volumes while using dramatically less power. All things considered, Andrew Jones SPBS 22 LR is a terrific bookshelf speaker system meant for anyone who doesn't feel dissuaded to pay slightly more for top quality immersive performance and experience. Next up on our list of the best bookshelf speakers in 2020 is Elac's debut 2.0 B6.2 speaker system. Apart from boasting a beautiful rugged design, these bookshelf speakers also boast specs and features that are massively superior to most similarly priced models. First and foremost, we should mention that B6.2 is the most basic configuration of Elac's debut 2.0. For a couple of hundred of dollars extra, you could get the C6.2 center speaker for even more power and more immersive experience. However, even this pair alone is strong enough to rock a house and keep any party going. The dimensions of the speaker configuration measure 7.69 inches in width by 14.76 inches in height by 10.55 inches in depth. 
It's pretty heavy with 16.31 pounds of weight, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal considering that it features substantially more and better hardware and electric components. The first notable thing about these speakers is that they feature a frequency response range of 44Hz to 35kHz. Basically, this is sometimes referred to as extended frequency response range, as it allows the speakers to recognize and emit an array of notes, tones, and sounds from higher frequencies that are often unattainable to most budget and mid-price models. Now, let's quickly shift the gears back to the design of these speakers. They feature a two-way base reflex enclosure type and five metal binding posts, which means two things. First and foremost, it means that these speakers are as durable as they make them, and secondly, it means that they don't let an iota of bass escape the enclosure, focusing it and booming it straight through the woofers. In terms of sheer strength, the Elax debut B6.2 speaker system sports nominal impedance of 6 ohms, 120 watts of power, and 87 decibel sensitivity rating. The woofer sports a 6.5 inch aramid fiber construction, while the cabinets are made of carb 2 rated MDF material with a black ash vinyl finish. If you're searching for a beautiful set of speakers that can tear down a house with the sheer uncompromising strength of the bass, you'll be more than content with what Elax debut B6.2 has to offer. Wireless speakers offer more convenience than wired models simply because you can access all of their features and controls while chilling on a couch. If you can't physically get near to the speakers while there's a party going on and in pretty much every situation imaginable. Now, what's really interesting about Audio Engine's HD3 speakers is that they actually look marvelous and boast ground shattering bass and overall sonic performance. These speakers feature two Class AB monolithic amplifiers, they're powered by 2.75 inch aramid fiber woofers, and 0.75 inch silk dome tweeters, and they boast 60 watts of peak power. They're stronger than average and boast a very versatile well-rounded soundstage that excels in delivering deep, clear bass and vibrant highs. The frequency response range of HD3 wireless speakers spans from 65Hz to 25kHz, even though this might seem that its bottom threshold is somewhat higher in comparison to some of the models we've reviewed. Rest assured that these couple of hertz are practically inaudible to human ears. The upper threshold is what really matters, and since it goes up to 22kHz, you'll get to enjoy a very colorful spectrum of sounds. What's more, Audio Engine's HD3 wireless speakers also feature a wide array of protective features, most of which are built into the construction. The output current limiter prevents blackouts in case all of the features are set to their highest values. The thermal overheat protection does precisely what its name implies, and the power transient protection guards the circuitry against sudden bursts of electricity that normally come to be when you're powering the speakers on or when you're shutting them down. The last feature that you should be aware of is the bass reduction switch found on the back of the speaker. Basically, by flipping it on, you'll tweak the frequency response range a bit, relocating the lower threshold from 65Hz to 100Hz. This will slightly lower the booming effects of the treble. At the end of the day, Audio Engine is a huge name in the bookshelf speakers industry, and the HD3 is a true example of their quality. The last model on our list is Q-Acoustics. 3020i pair of bookshelf speakers. In simple terms, these speakers sound the best, look the best, and offer the highest value for the buck, despite the fact that they also cost quite a bit. First things first, Q Acoustics 3020i is a pair of two speakers that sport two-way reflex enclosure, a 5-inch bass unit, a 0.9-inch treble unit, and a frequency response range of 64Hz to 30kHz. Again, the 30kHz upper threshold is massive, which means that most of your favorite songs will most likely sound a bit different when you start listening to them through your new 3020i speakers. The nominal impedance of these speakers is 6 ohms, and their sensitivity rating is 88 decibels, which is pretty average in all respects. These speakers are relatively large with dimensions that measure 11 inches by 6.7 inches by 11.1 inches. They are sadly pretty heavy as each speaker weighs approximately 10.6 pounds, 21.2 pounds in total. What's more, the Q Acoustics 3020i bundle packs a variety of Gratis accessories, including two foam bungs, two speaker grills, a pair of handling gloves, eight rubber grips, and a handy manual that you can consult in case you have any questions regarding the speaker's performance. Overall, 3020i offers superb features, exceptional sound quality, and they are obviously built to last. So if you're out there looking for the best bookshelf speakers possible, you might want to check them out. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.